with due respects to the esteemed practitioners in this forum, I, from behalf of Madhurud Hospital, behalf of Madhurud Hospital, thank each and every person attending this August gathering. With this note, I also bring the greetings from AHPA. This is uh, Association of Healthcare Providers India. Recently, I've been uh, nominated as secretary for this Karnataka chapter. I bring greetings uh, to the city. Yes, I have the task of uh, just three to five minutes of deliberation to just wrap up the scientific session. Congratulations to Dr. Ashweta Rai and Dr. Madhura and Dr. Suhen uh, for their scientific deliberations. Uh, now my task is to just wrap up before we wind up for the fellowship. With that, uh, uh, there was uh, a newspaper clipping which did mention about C-section and there was somebody uh, knowing herself as a cesarean victim. Somebody had so much of gratitude because she underwent the C-section and uh, there was a mourner who said that uh, she never made peace. She kept on clipping till the end that she didn't have an opportunity to deliver vaginally. So then came uh, what was uh, the topic I had to present today. I said there are clinicians in this forum who is practicing more than our age. I'm sure because adolescent family members fraternity in the represent so there was no choice of topic for deliberation for just five minutes. I thought we'll just update because I have been uh, the chairperson of Safe Motherhood Committee and I take this opportunity. Here we are asking every clinician who is practicing because now we see that uh, they say that doctor is an angel in a white coat with a license to heal lifetime. So that's why I chose the topic as CSD, where we say that it is cesarean scar defect. But before we move on to that, every clinician in your clinical practice should have a separate day fixed as a preconceptional clinic. This is the need of the hour. Now, preconceptional care is a set of intervention that aims to identify and modify the social or behavioral risk to each and every pregnant lady. So this is a care which is given to a woman who is planning in pregnancy. Of course, pregnancy positive one male protocol is there. But if you have pregnancy, you can plan the standardized protocol introduced. I think we should adopt uh, this particular preconceptional care in our clinical practice. This has three components. The risk assessment, the health promotion and intervention. Why this cesarean section is very important for today's winding of topic is we know that uh, globally it is 18.6% declared with 17.2% which is only in India but in Karnataka it is up to 23.6%. Yaar oru yellu oru cesarean ya maradhanare normal delivery ya trial ya kurutana is it obstetrician's distress or is it family members distress or patient's distress or it is fetal distress go back to Yene on distress sidro namatra on the last delivery time ik bandaga it is either cultural Yaroba Puroita, Ide Taimo, Ide Date, Marbe Kundirtare, and then Madlebe Kaparstiti Namirte, or it may be due to personal reasons, husband to birthday, Ade Date to Madame, Ade Taimo, first Mamuda, Ade birthday, Date to Time, the Davitanam Yanada, Ade Marpurita. This is all regarding to the second C section or simultaneous, the third or the fourth one. Professionally, we are wanting a C section for some indications. Maybe a very big baby or a breach or any other obstetric indications. But legally also we are a little worried when there is fetal distress and they are not agreeable. So there are a lot of reasons which we are initiated to perform a C-section. But one out of seven women are experiencing the complication what we are actually doing. So we agreed to that. In 1970 there was C-section which is only 5%. 
I think Dr. Lakshmi and Dr. Kusmachar and all the others other than the other half, other table we just agreed to it. But in 1988, it definitely increased to 24.7%. But after we introduced this preconceptional counseling clinics, where we are motivating them for a toll act, and the trial of labor after cesarean section. First one section agitro kuda. Now second one ki indication nee ki to first one nali. Now we not selling trial labor vaginal delivery kordo na thele. First cesarean na agit do rige. Preconceptional clinical le counseling start mar be karne the. With that, I am uh, very happy to uh, uh, share with you Dr. Shweta and Dr. Madhura have been uh, wonderfully doing the TOLAC uh, at our center. With the introduction of TOLAC in, from 1993, the rates have gone low by 1%. So what is CST is cesarean scar defect. And what is this defect? You can see that there is an indentation at the cesarean scar site. And the measurement we take is as 2 millimeters. So this particular indent or the pouch, we can recognize way before she becomes pregnant the next time. What I mean to say is, if there is a niche or a indent, she will have some symptoms and this symptom is contributing only to 30% of the population. The other uh, half of the segment, they come to us in one way or the other. So what exactly we want to do is, So once there is a cesarean section scar, the next time she becomes pregnant, without recognizing whether the defect is good defect or not, we may encounter a cesarean scar pregnancy. So here is a scar, a cesarean section scar. This patient actually delivered one and a half years back and again conceived. And this particular fetus is a 12 week fetus, which is just getting out of the previous scar and this is a laparoscopic video which has been captured. So we want to understand is first there is a cesarean section that means there is 35 percent of chances that she develops a defect after one c-section, 76 percent after two sections. Of course third section we still have uh, uh, patients who are walking into us wanting a third c-section but the defect uh, on papers is 88 percent. So what do we do? So we need to understand and we ask them to undergo a transvaginal sonography TVS whenever they come to us planning for the second pregnancy. Here the prevalence we can record up to 70 percent and if we are doing a SHG sonohistography we can contribute up to 56 to 84 percent. So very simple to understand is if they are having some defect and it is giving them a symptom, they will definitely walk to a clinician, a doctor who is patiently listening to her symptom and she may come to us with complaint of post-menstrual spotting. Okay, the regular periods after that, the periods are very madhya 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 next cycle taka madhya madhya spotting after that. So somewhere the other the menstrual history is related or she may be having pain during menstrual cycle. Or she wants to conceive second pregnancy but she is unable to conceive. So that also is an issue. Whenever there is a clinician listening to these symptoms, better not to neglect that symptom. Please ask that particular patient to undergo a transvaginal sonography wherein we measure the defect. The measurement is by transvaginal scan. We have various methods for that measurement. And we need to confirm that by MRI or we also confirm that doing histoscope or laparoscope. I wouldn't go into much detail of this. Very easy modality to just write a investigation prescription on table desk as a vaginal scan. To move on, the preconceptional clinic should have in detail the history of the previous surgery. In case if she has had surgery, for what indication she has had, what was the mode of delivery and the birth weight and any complication if encountered during surgery or post delivery. This is a very important history we would like to ask and make a note of it and if there is any symptoms to further evaluate that patient. In case if the uh, defect is visible, this particular case has to be referred to an obstetrician or a gynecologist 
for the repair of the defect by either by doing a hysteroscopy or by laparoscopy as mentioned by Dr. Shweta Nain. So we do a combined hystero and a laparoscopic method of niche repair and then wait for 6 months to a year's time and for the conception there will not be any problems of uterine rupture or any other complications as uh, the placenta accreta or percreta or so on with the placental implantation. With this, we contribute as clinicians, maybe at your desk or maybe at our desk, RN as obstetricians. We look for a healthy baby and a healthy mother back home because we contribute to the majority of women's health. With this, I I thank you for the patient listening. But then the preconceptional clinics is a must. Uh, I, I think Dr. Lakshmi will agree to this. Uh, this is the next phase of uh, any woman who is wanting to conceive. Either it is a primary gravida, that is a first time pregnancy, or maybe a multi, they have to go to a clinician, give a complete history, rule out the genetic problems, take preconceptional folic acid, and this preconceptional folic acid is a must three months before they plan to conceive. With this month, I think we don't want complications and we really want no pregnancy to happen on the scar. We want pregnancy to happen inside the uterine cavity, safe and healthy for nine months till term without any complications. Thank you. This was a rapid fire. <laughs> the scientific deliberation. Thank you. Thank you.